What is going on guys? We're back with another video. Today it is our final 10 year sim rebuild on the channel of the season. Unless we do a special one, I don't know exactly what we would do. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is the Cardinals 10 year sim rebuild. This is number 32. It's kind of crazy to think we actually did 32 of these this year. So I did end up deciding to think about a, a, a light goal at the end of this video. But we're going to say it now. 300 likes. I know that's a lot. 300 likes will guarantee this series comes back from out of 20. So if you do want to see it, let me know. Two, you know 200. Was it 300 likes? Jesus, a lot. 300 likes will guarantee it. If we get somewhere close, we'll probably still do it. But I just want to know, did you guys really enjoy this series? Or was it just because you're like, eh, close enough to a rebuild, I'll watch. <laughs> Fair enough, you know. But, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this final 10-year sim. It's sad it's coming to an end, but let's make this one a good one. And uh, we pretty much finished with potentially the worst team, which is ironic. But we have a few pieces that I do like. Uh, Buda Baker, Josh Rosen, Christian Kirk. All guys that could be here near the end of this thing. Specifically, Kirk and Rosen. We got to have a good year, though. Come on, Rosen. One year. If you're going to do it once, it better be this year. 73 overall. This is probably going to be a pretty bad season. Two wins at the most, I'd see. Uh, should we do real-life rosters just for the final one to make it kind of fun? Real-life draft class, anyways. Season one playoffs? Clearly not. <laughs> one of 15. I like it. I actually do. I'm not even joking. I do like it. 4,000 yards for Rosen. All right. We may have to take a look. Ooh, okay. This, I mean, that's not the worst season we could have had at... You know, a 1-15. in 15. It could have been much worse. Like, way worse. Uh, let's actually take a look. Let's see. Rosen was Offensive Rookie of the Year with a 1-15 team. Imagine voting for that. <laughs> He's only an 80 overall, though. He goes to Star Dev. An 80 overall Star Dev. It's not the worst look. It's against Chargers Super Bowl. And I knew... I was about to say, watch the Redskins win. And they do. They're, they're such a glitch team here and there. Oh, crap. Did I not know? Year one has actually been kind of sneaky lately. Like, sometimes, like, I'm going to take a look at the signings. Hopefully, they were all bad, but oh, our team offered on some guys. Jesus, how many guys did they offer on? Holy. Okay, thank I'm actually kind of glad that happened because that's quite the offer. Who the hell? Like, why would they spend so much money? Like, I have no idea how much money that, you know, we would have had. Okay, 63 mil. Maybe they didn't spend as much as I thought, but let's take a look at some of the guys that were signed. Okay, thankfully. This was not a good one. Sometimes there's guys like Trey Flowers. Not this time, though. I think with such a good draft class, though, the Cardinals would probably be smart to trade down. Like, surely this is pick one, right? Pick one. We could probably trade. See, I think the best pet would be Kevin White. Kevin White? Devin White. <laughs> we, we got the words out properly. Super beastly. He ran an even better 40 time than that. So we're being realistic. We're trading from one to three, gaining a second this and a third next. That's completely fair. Obviously, in a class like this, even though it's deep, the top three is a very, very big change up. And Josh Allen, I don't know. I think he probably would be there at three. So probably not a smart move. But the Panthers, they don't care because they get who they want anyways. Once again, we're going to trade down again here because once again, there's so many good players. And then we can get to number 10, gain another second round maybe. Which makes no sense, but I think a guy like Devin White would be the best bet. We need a quarterback for the defense. There's really no guy that really has that say on the Cardinals defense right now. Like, who who do you go to on the Cardinals defense to say, man, we need to stop. We need to pull this thing together. We've got, you know, this and this and that going for us. You know, there's nobody that's really going to step up and do that thing. And uh, surprisingly, the Bengals actually give us the two second round picks. So, we have quite a bit to work with here, which I love. The Bengals go from number 10. Not a chance they get him. And I'm pretty sure his name is Keenan Williams, isn't it? I don't even know. I've seen so many different ways to say it, so it is what it is. Sweat, that would have been a nice pick because he's super fast. Uh, of course, the middle linebacker is gone. DK Metcalf is still there. Hawkinson is still there. You got Brian Burns still there. Ed Oliver. Do you go Metcalf to have that true number one wide receiver? Question is, is this current roster going to feel him to be the best available? So I think he is a bit overhyped, so I wouldn't even expect good dev out of him. I think we're going to go Ed Oliver. I really, I think we're going to Ed. 
at Oliver Stardev, 81 overalls, 21 years of age, super fast. Where he plays, I don't know. I, I don't know what we want to do with him yet. Uh, I think we may put him on the edge. We require him to lose a little bit of weight and make him a beast. Now, the question is, what do we do here? Do we go Metcalf? Oh, what am I doing? I forgot this is a 10-year sim. I can't just take anyone I want. We might have to use up another pick for next year. We're going to even pick 42 in a first round next year, I think. I think that's completely fair. Will they take it, though? They do, surprisingly. I don't know why they guys almost accepted anything at this point. Tight end, though. That's even tougher to draft. Tight end is actually tougher to draft as well. Oof. Now we're going to go Metcalf. We have to. So Superstar Dev, the guy did overrate him a little bit. The agility thing, like, I think it's kind of funny. Like, I know he didn't have the greatest drill ever, and I know we're basing all of this off of, you know, the drills, but are you really thinking a guy with the speed of Metcalf is going to have 76 agility? I can see, you know, there's a lot of guys that are straight line players, but 76? I mean, at worst, what, 84 maybe? Like, do we realize how low 76 is? Either way, we wasted a pick for next year. We're going to have to, even though these are some really good picks still, we're going to have to let the NI take them and hope for the best. Take a look at the draft recap. I would assume we'd probably take in a few linemen, maybe a linebacker. All right, so we, of course, chose the top two. Marquise Brown, that's a nice little pick. Um, assuming Larry Fitzgerald is gone. Our wide receiver core is completely finished. DeAndre Baker, ooh, a little steal, star dev. Not the fastest guy in the world, but he's he's decent. Uh, Connor McGovern, quick dev, 75 overall. A really solid lineman, probably the best of the class. Ryan Bates, normal dev. Right tackle, Udo, nice quick dev as well. Strong as hell, that's a steal. They go uh, Ataro Alaka. Uh, is he a big guy? He's not a big guy. I don't know what the hell we're going to do with him. Then we get Rodney Anderson, a power back, I believe. Yeah, power back. Not a bad draft at all. Um, was there anyone we should have went for? Number 10. Uh, you know, Obviously, we could have had anyone we wanted, but I think making the trade downs were smart. I think we do have a little extra for next year. Unfortunately, we will not be drafting. The Giants, if they got Kyler Murray at you know six, technically eight here, that would be a pretty big win for them. Rashawn Gary, I don't think he was that fast, was he? I don't think he ran that fast of a 40. Oh, he actually ran really fast 40. Never mind. I, I did not. Wow. NFL players, like, they're just getting wild now. Like, how fast is everybody getting, man? Devin Bush, I think that should be an 89-90. I think Devin Bush and Devin White are, like, the exact same player. I guess before he does have them pretty much the same, just different. Um, Brian Burns, I was going to take him. I really was. He's only got him with quick dev. I think uh, probably should have had higher. Noah Fant. What a beast. He is going to be really fast in Madden. Whoever gets, you know, whoever drafts him is going to have a really good tight end on their hands in Madden. Uh, obviously in real life as well, but he's going to be beast in Madden, that's for sure. AJ Brown, star dev. I was hoping he would have slipped to the second round. I would have, uh, if I knew he's going to go second round, I probably would have taken him, but he obviously didn't make it there anyways. TJ Hawkinson with star dev, probably worth it. Uh, a little bit raw, I think uh, the combine does kind of make him a little bit worse of a prospect. He's still amazing, but... Greedy, I think he should probably only be quick dev. Headed to the playoffs. Is it going to be us? Nope. <laughs> 5, 10, and 1, though. A big uh, improvement, of course. Let's take a look at the uh, the stats. Josh Rosen had a very good season. That's a superstar. That is a superstar. He's still not very good, though. Even though uh, he had a really good season. Still not super great, huh? David Johnson, 8 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. Receiving Christian Kirk. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a superstar. That's a really good season. Uh, Metcalf, what's that dev? Was he already? No, he was only star at the time, wasn't he? Or was he super? I don't even remember. But either way, he's really good. Uh, I mean, he was great beforehand. Marquise Brown, obviously not really going to get much. 82 overall. He's getting there. He'll, he'll get there, hopefully. Uh, you know, what, three overalls on the season, maybe four? I don't remember even what he started as. Come on, Ed. Yeah, Eddie. Was he already superstar? Was he? No, was he not? Still a beast, though. You know, 86 overall. We were uh, working on his finesse move pretty much all season, but for whatever reason, he was still getting a lot of block shed. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you what you upgrade, huh? It doesn't. It's unfortunate, but uh, we were doing a lot of uh, finesse move because, we, you know, of course, we're going to put him at edge after the season. Take a look at kicking. No, nothing really too big. So a very good season, even though we were 5'10 and 1. We're, we're close, uh, you know, and of course, 
with, I would assume, two first rounds. I think we got... No, no, we didn't even go for first round picks, did we? Damn it. We got a couple of second rounds, extra seconds. Of course, we can't choose anything, so... Realistically, we shouldn't even have the, the re-signing thing or whatever, you know, the off-season thing on. So we're... Uh, f okay, 81 overall. Tight end's desperate, so we will take a look just in case, you know, there is a uh, tight end there. Look at this. Terrible upgrading of the offensive line. Um, you know, a middle linebacker or a tight end is there. We will, of course, take it. We have no edge. What the hell? Hassan Reddick, he can kind of play pass rush, so... I think we may put him there. I think we kind of have to. Uh, if there's anyone like you know we said, anyone crazy good there, we may go for him. Ian Honest is kind of that guy, but not good enough to waste another choice, I don't think. Maybe we'll take a look at the draft. Of course, I'm going to start going to the draft just so I can see if it's not worth it. Maybe we could trade down or maybe even just trade up and hope the AI takes somebody good because there's just no point in having these AIs take really bad players. Jake Bailey. Uh, Star Dev, what the hell? That's insane. I really want to add him. Damn it. Oh, I completely forgot. We traded our first round pick away. That sucks. I don't remember who the hell we traded it to. Fair. I think it might have been the Eagles. All right, here we are. Was our trade up worth it? Ooh, that's a high overall. Please be good, Dev. Quick Dev, it's fine though. He's big. How young is he? 21. Uh, No man coverage, which is obviously, you know, it's fine. We need a new safety, I suppose. The game took it upon itself to uh, do that. They go with the pass rusher. Makes sense. Not great, but honestly, with our need, may have to start him. Jaquay Black, uh, he's not great. Oops, actually backed out. He's not great just based on speed, but he is good in coverage, so he's actually not bad. He could play on the outside and it would make a very big upgrade, I think. Who's the, Is this guy a coverage guy as well or pass rusher? Another coverage guy. I mean, this guy could start as well. That's how desperate we are. Uh, the main thing is I want to see the two guys, the tight end, and, of course, the middle linebacker. What was, you know, where did he go? How high was it? 13. So, pick, two picks above. Uh, we're being honest, not super great, but, of course, he's a great player to develop. Uh, great coverage stats. Holy crap. 85 zone right out the gate. That's insane. And then the tight end. This might have been the tight end. Quick dev. Uh, it would have been an upgrade, I suppose, but definitely not something we needed to do. And we get to start selecting again, so that's that's nice to see. We got better, of course. Not much better. I think uh, if we were going to make it to this playoffs, you know, out of nowhere, it would have been last season rather than this. But the good thing is we are still very, very young and, of course, very cheap. So we need a new tight end soon. Linebackers, uh, I want, huh, like, Alaka isn't great, but at the same time, he's normal, Dev, and he went up one overall. Our pass rush is terrible. What do we do? Like, what, what do we, so what is, what is Swearinger right here? He's 29, let's trade him away, because we don't need him anymore. We have Kel, uh, Hassan, ooh, we actually do need all these linebackers. I forgot, we're going to put Hassan Renega right in. That's that's a thing we need to do. That's that's actually kind of clutch. Because we have no pass rush. And this guy, you know, Hassan should go up. Yeah, he's, he's an 84 overall. Unfortunately, Ed Oliver is going to have to play DT again, which really sucks. But he's still very young, so even if he moves out there later, that's fun. Headed to the playoffs. Our year one draft class is pretty much almost all max by now, I'd say. Probably good three to four guys in the 85-90 range. There's a 10-5-1 and one team for you. Let's take a look at how that came true. We were 7-3 at one point, and, of course, that was the rest of it. Kind of, you know, didn't finish super well. We lost two games, had a tie as well. But, of course, good enough to make the playoffs. How was Josh Rosen? He was actually pretty damn good the first two seasons. And, ironically, you can almost debate this was the worst of his seasons. David Johnson, however, did kind of steal the show back. Yeah, 1,600 yards, 12 touchdowns. Pretty impressive stuff. Receiving, however, was really freaking bad. I can't even lie. Don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, San Reddick with a 16-sack season. Uh, I don't know what his dev is. Superstar? Yep, superstar dev. Uh, he's still not very great, but obviously after a really good season, it uh, it obviously helps. And Oliver still star dev. Uh, for some reason, he's been getting a lot of power upgrades with block shedding. While doing finesse. It makes no sense to me. That's just the way it's been, though. Picks, Buda Baker, Kel. 
is a pretty good team. I'd like to think we forgot to trade Swearinger. I completely forgot to do that. Can we get a playoff win? This is the Super Bowl champion Redskins. We lost by five, which, you know, you might think that's pretty bad. But once again, they were the Super Bowl champions. Normally, I wouldn't take a look, but I want to see what was the reason we actually lost. And that reason would be potentially David Johnson fumbling. We didn't have a lot of touchdowns. Adam Humphreys had eight catchers for 53 yards with four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. He ba like he was, oh, look at DeAndre with a pick. He had like, what, 13 yards per touchdown? If that isn't the most fortunate season I've ever seen, or game, I suppose, that's pretty, would be pretty uh, amazing. Rams versus Steelers. We have a Rams Super Bowl. Big shocker there. Super, super surprising. We do need offensive linemen. That's one of the biggest things. Uh, so, of course, this is, you know, oh, 100 mil. This is the first season. I'd say Rosen is going to need a contract, but I'd say this is the first season, uh, you know, in the last two where we aren't locked into, uh, you know, having to choose anyone. We can actually maybe choose who we want now. I would say right guard, tight end would be the main two looks. Running back is going to be, a, you know, a need soon, but not right now. Linebacker, of course, is a huge, huge need. Swear injuries in 81 overall. I mean, if we're going to trade him now, it's not going to really get us much. Patrick Peterson, I think we're going to move him to three because uh, Baker has a lot more upside. And, of course, he's not much lower of an overall. Uh, pass rush is a big need, but Thornton, he did okay. Hassan was amazing, obviously. And uh, really just linebacker, tight end, I think. And obviously O-line, but Kel is a great player. Could look, a f look for a safety again soon. But so far, this has gone pretty well, considering... We do have an option here. Uh, do we pay in Joku? He's 25 years of age. That would last us a bit. I mean, I think it's probably worth it. Uh, I don't know how much that's actually going to come out to, though. That's the question. So, four years, 26 mil. That's really cheap. I mean, if it comes out to only like 10 mil a year, that's not terrible for an 85 overall tight end. You know, once again, tight end this year is very hard to get. It might be less than 10 mil a year. No, it is. It's going to be around 10 mil a year, but I... I think I'm willing to pay that. I really do. You know, we made the playoffs, so our pick's not even going to be that good. 128 points. The Redskins usually get everything they ever want. So we're going to pay him a little bit more. We're paying him a lot of money here to play tight end. Ooh, I didn't even realize that's only a four-year deal. I want him for five. Maybe drop, you know, jump in the years. I'll give him a little bit more interest. So six points. Mm, man, I, I, like, I really don't want to overpay him this much, but at the same time... Tight end is a very hard position to fill. And we see a lot, you know, we looked last year, the easiest guy or the best guy wasn't even that good. Maybe we should have went Fant, man. I mean, you could see, you know, Juju Smith-Schuster here not even getting the craziest offer. We could have offered him like a seven-year deal instead of having Metcalf. You know, if we can go back, I think I would definitely, you know, switch that up. I think I probably would have went with, with Noah Fant instead, but we're past that, I suppose. We do get Njoku for, what, probably about 12 mil a year. Super overpaid, but at least we have a guy for the next five seasons. Just need they had to take a guard or linebackers, and uh, we'll easily make it back to the, the, the playoffs. I'm going to say the Super Bowl. Got to make the playoffs first, buddy. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the draft recap. Linebacker, lineman, let's go. Free safety. Malik Powell, ooh, 24. I mean, I think we're year three or four now, so he could still make it. On the roster all the way. I suppose he starts over Trey. We have Matthew. I almost said Matthew. Matthew Goodman. Coverage, right? He is a uh, run stopper. He'll start. They go with the middle linebacker, Zach Nicholson. Uh, not a bad pick, honestly. That guy's pretty good. I might. We might move around some players. So this can be interesting. We need a new lineman. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. I think we can trade a few guys off. Maybe at least get a pick. If not trade for an actual lineman, J David Johnson, he's got to be, yeah, he's 29, so he's got maybe one, two years if we really want to push it. Josh Rosen, who's played really well, is still only an 89 overall. So we traded Trey Boston, DJ Swearinger, and Alaka for the Giants' third round pick. And, I mean, that's kind of what we're looking at here. We need a new right guard, of course. F player. Okay, thank you, uh, EA, for that one. Uh, wide receivers are great. Question is, how much are contracts going to play a factor soon? I'm a little worried about, you know, losing some of these guys. I don't want to lose, uh, you know, Baker. I don't want to lose Kirk. I don't want to, I really, I don't want to lose any one of the, the four playmakers on offense. Metcalf, Marquise, 
Kirk in Rosen. But of course, we'll see. Rosen's going to cost a little bit of money probably this season, so we're probably going to be working with a little bit less. But overall, it's a good team, and this should be at least a playoff win. Not even just playoffs, but a win. How's it a playoffs? Uh, not going to lie. 7 2 start. What? Are you for real? We lost five of the seven games. How? How? Three to 44? The Cowboys are. They held us to 150 yards. Are you for real? Drew Log. Oh, damn. Cowboys are kind of freaky. They actually have a decent quarterback. The Jets win the Super Bowl over the Rams. At least it's somebody new. We have still 94 mil. Did we not have to pay Rosen? What the hell is going on here? We need a new right guard, of course. Linebackers, did they go up? I mean, we're still struggling at linebacker. I think Black should probably stay at middle linebacker for a while, or at least at linebacker. I think of all the three guys, he would definitely be a starter for the future. Unfortunately, Ed Oliver is going to actually have to play DT for the rest of his career here, uh, it seems, unless you know, Reddick goes away. Powell didn't do quite as well as Kel, but still an 83 overall. About to be 25. Maybe he's 25 for now. I don't even know. Any big names here? Maybe we can fill. Uh, David Acasio would be nice, but it's only one season. Baker. There'd be the third Baker on the defense. I'd be about it. I would not care. I would definitely about it. I think we should go for him. Uh, he's not even getting a crazy offer because that's not the right guy. He is getting a decent offer, actually. I thought it was the Antonio Browns contract. Now, that wasn't a crazy offer considering, but, of course, he's on the older side. So, 98-point offer. Probably don't even need to put that much on it, but I think it's worth it. Knock that out. We've got ourselves a good coverage linebacker for once. We could trade away some of the, one, one of these guys for a decent pick, potentially. AI just needs to go O-line now, and we're, we're ready to go. Maybe missing the playoffs is a good thing. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at Baker and Black at middle to outside. Like, who's better? Because Baker, I think middle linebacker, of course, is more important. So if it's not much of a difference, maybe it's worth it. So Black goes up one. Baker goes down five. Yeah, never mind. That's too big of a drop for... Uh, for, for that to be making of sense. All right, here we go. Draft recap. Uh, of course, linebacker still kind of a need. Lineman, the main one. They do address that need with David Campbell. Star dev. He's 24, though. Uh, 82 strength. He's, he's a pretty solid lineman. Star dev obviously makes him workable. 76 overall is rough. But, of course, this is the guy we're looking at. 91 strength. Star dev. Rashawn Whitaker. I mean, obviously, we're happy to just get him. But you think they should have probably taken him in the first round. Uh, I don't know how the hell they found him, but cool. Uh, here's Parquet, I would assume his name is. Not Parkett. Uh, Lindstorm, the fullback. Ooh, another star dev. Uh, good strength. Not really good at blocking, even though he's a blocking type. Uh, he's still good, I suppose. Good excel. Uh, here we go. The free safety, Jamichael McIlwain. Quick dev. Uh, a nice little backup. Kind of a more of a cornerback, though. So I think we may put him at corner. Ooh, a wide receiver. Nagui Flemens, uh, very fast. Speed's a little low, but very fast still just because of the acceleration. That's a pretty damn good draft. How we missed the playoffs last season, I'll never know. But here we are at, what, the midway point, I believe, uh, with some good linemen for once and honestly a really damn good chance at making the playoffs. Should be headed back to the playoffs. We're, we're one of the best teams in the league right now. The AI actually drafts decently well when we're in control. I don't know if that's just a user thing. Uh, we do make the playoffs with a bye week. No MVP for Josh, but I'm going to have a feeling he's very close. I am not sure that's true. <laughs> Running-wise, uh, David Johnson, this is probably his last season as a starter. He's down to quick dev anyways. Receiving, uh, Metcalf could have went back up, but Christian, of course, he's normal dev. Uh, Metcalf, didn't go down, but he probably should have went back to Superstar. It's a pretty good season, I think. Nah, he is the number one, actually. It's not even that great. Marquise is only normal. The receiving threats, uh, definitely going down a bit in the uh, the category of being a beast. Ed Oliver went down to quick dev. Did he really? Interesting. 51 times. I mean, that's... I'll allow it. I'll allow it, but uh, I don't know. This, I mean, when you got guys like Hassan Reddick not dropping... Even though he played worse, he did have a pick, which is weird as a DN, but I don't know. That's questionable in my book. Uh, Kel has four picks. Baker, did he go up in dev? He went down in dev? How was he? I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's decent, I suppose. 
it is what it is. Uh, and of course, with the bye week, we make it to the divisional automatically. First time getting this far. The Vikings aren't super hard to beat. This should be a win. This will not be a win. We lost by two. Once again, normally I don't like to look at it, but I, I kind of need to. I, I just I have to. Uh, that was a really big game for us, and we somehow lost. Uh, Rosen, he threw a pick. Uh, that's not very good. Not very happy with that. David Johnson, the running game. You know, this team's kind of built on running the ball decently well, and we just haven't done that. You know, David Johnson's getting old. Running back is no doubt the biggest, maybe not the biggest, but one of the biggest needs we have right now. I would say the biggest, but I don't know. It's, yeah, maybe it is. It might be. The Super Bowl, the Vikings versus the Chiefs, that'd be an interesting Super Bowl. And the winner being the Vikings, I would not be happy with that result. 93 overall team. Actually, it might be lower because we might lose some players here. So how much money we have? We have 79 mil. Do they not have to pay Rosen? How much did they pay him? Like, where's the money? Like, why do we have so much anyways? And not, not where's the money. He's not really getting paid that much. Did they sign him sooner than... I don't even know. Really have no idea how that works. But offensive line is actually starting to get good for once. Uh, left side still a little bit weak. But the most, the majority of the thing is good. Running back, we got rid of Rodney Har uh, Harrison Anderson, apparently. Linebacker core still lacking a little bit. But I think running back is without a doubt the biggest need right now. 80 million dollars there's no man we can't have just like your ma i mean what uh voshan joseph i will say unless it's a real life player that's a pretty interesting name that that's got to be a real life player right yeah i think it is a real life player because hey i'm not gonna give a ea that much so it is a real life player okay so uh i was about to say because that's a really good that's a pretty awesome like unique name Never see that, but of course that's the reason why. Uh, this could be a double guy draft. Sorry about the voice there. Uh, the old cotton mouth. It's dry as hell in here. I'm getting sick. You probably heard it already. The reason why I'm saying this is probably a double. Ooh, maybe not actually. Kendall Joseph's 27. Kendall Joseph was going to be my choice, but... Oh, Voshan was actually the guy, wasn't he? Voshan, more of a run-stopper guy. I, You know what? We're just going to stick with what we have, but we're going to go with Bryce Love, of course. We're going to give him a five-year deal. Uh, you know, this is honestly one of the worst running back core, you know, classes we've seen in a while, but he's the best there. No one's offering him, and we are desperate. So we will give him the offer, and he will join our team and potentially make us a Super Bowl contender. Uh, we should be a Super Bowl contender. And, he, you know, 94 overall, we still have the draft. David Johnson's a backup. How expensive is he? They just paid him. Hopefully that's only a one-year deal because that would just make no sense to long-term a guy of his age. Uh, you know, linebacker is still a bit of a need. But honestly, if we're thinking about what we need from the draft, it would probably be a corner or a pass rusher because Redick, of course, he's not even, he's 28 and, you know, he's become that guy. He could probably last for another three to four years. So I guess maybe left tackle because Humphreys is getting old. Star Dev, did he make a Pro Bowl? He must have made a Pro Bowl. That's the only way you go up in Dev in this game. Uh, he's 29, so I would say left tackle and cornerback, really. But we've built another great team, as per usual. We do really well in these 10 year Sims. I want to see some legit playoff wins. I don't think we've won a single game yet. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at uh, the draft. What do they take? They do go left tackle. We're kind of thinking of that. Uh, ooh, a star left tackle, Nick Woods. They're killing it. Looks just like the guy that we got uh, before that was really good. And that's not a race thing. Literally EA and yeah, whatever. Tremonde Spencer, they agreed with the uh, the cornerback thing. Now, wide receiver, I think, is the furthest thing we need. Uh, he's not bad for how big he is. Is he any sort of blocking specialist? Kind of wanted to put him at tight end. I think, you know, we don't need a wide, a wide receiver. I don't know why they would have taken one. So we're going to go with tight end. going to make him number 83. I don't like to put backup tight ends as a good number, like 81 or 88. So I feel like that's a waste of a good number. Uh, Russell Stout, terrible pick. Eh, he's eh, eh, you know, 94 throw power. I don't know what kind of sounds I'm making there, but that's not bad. Gavin Potter. Is that the face I model I hate? No, it's it's close. It's close to that like fish Russian face. You know you know the one I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking at this. Like There's literally no chance they would have got better than the left tackle. You know, even though I said we kind of need alignment, we really didn't need one to that point. But 
I mean, I guess if you're going to take someone, I'm not mad with it. Uh, he will have to start. We're going to have to trade Humphreys, who, you know, at star dev is probably worth a little bit. Probably at least a fourth round, I would say. Maybe trade Pilgrim and him. Maybe Pilgrim and Nicholson, actually. Nicholson, he's quick dev, 79 overall. Uh, he must have got quick from his first year. He's actually so good, man. We should have been starting him all this time. Matthew Goodman, 81. Uh, I like Nicholson more. I really do. So we trade Goodman, Pilgrim, and Light for the projected, almost worst second round pick of the draft for the Browns. It's completely fair. I went a little bit higher just because Goodman is a starting caliber player. Uh, Nicholson, of course, I think is the better of the raw players because he's, he's faster. He's got better coverage. Uh, the only thing that makes Goodman better is he's a little bit smarter and his block shed was really high, but Nicholson is clearly the better of the two, I think. Heading to the playoffs, let's see if we're in. Of course, we had a bye week last year. Still have yet to actually win a game. And we make a 10-6. Best in the division, but 10-6, Bryant Berger. 9-7 across the board. Holy crap. Uh, that's, that's a pretty interesting season by Brace Love. That could be normal dev. I think that is normal dev. Nice, stay quick. Didn't really go up though, which kind of sucks. Receiving Christian Curry, that's backed up to quick. Uh, we really don't care about you know what dev these guys are. We just care about if they're good players. You know if they play well. Oh, he was actually at star. Didn't know that. He's so good. That agility sucks, but who oh, does have eight, like ninety one elusiveness as well? Agility does suck. Marquise Brown. Really hasn't developed super well. He's a 90 overall, though, so, I mean, it is what it is. It's a number three. It's, it's not the worst that it could could obviously be. Ed Oliver. Now, this isn't a dev up. Okay, he does go back up in dev, so I don't feel as bad about, you know, allowing him to, to drop dev last season because it makes sense. Tremonde Spencer. Quick dev. I, I don't know. Three picks isn't a lot, but that maybe we got lucky. You never know. I don't know. Got some XP. Really... The only thing we can even upgrade at this point, I think, is quarterback tight end. Tight end would actually be a pretty big upgrade. Then we already have tight end, so wide receiver, quarterback, I guess. Exactly zero? What is the chance of that? That is literally almost impossible. It is what it is, though. See, can we win? Yes, we do. We finally win a legit playoff game. Going against the Saints, and we win again. Okay. Please, Minnesota. You already had your, your playoff trip. I think you lost, so that's on you. Damn it. Going against the Bengals. For the Vikings, let's take a look. Who wins this thing? Hopefully, it's I hope it is the Vikings actually. And I mean, we did lose to the back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions by ten. It could have been worse. Could have been in the Super Bowl versus the Bengals and lost like twenty-seven to zero. It is what it is. So we have fifty-one mil. We still have so much damn money. Usually, we do run out of money in like a year or two. So I'm definitely expecting that to happen very soon. Offensive line. In fairness, we are getting you know we, we kind of getting new guys every year, so maybe that's another factor. In Joku, we're going to have to replace soon, I would say. Linebackers, we're just finally getting up there with Black. He's normal, but he's 26. Both things are bad, so but in that case is not any sort of good thing. DT uh, is probably the biggest need right now. I'd say a backup DT, and then probably linebacker again, honestly. Oh, snap. Look at this corner. He's the number one guy, and nobody wants him. It's literally, oh, I hope Preston Smith is a 31-year-old superstar 90 overall. Oh, that'd be so sick in real life. That'd be huge for us. Huge for us. Let's go to Forston. Please be good. Please be really, really good. That's pretty good for a 6-2. I'm going to give him a six-year deal. This is uh, what they would call a robbery, and I'm happy. I don't even know where the hell we're going to play him, but I don't even care. Yeah, you got to take him. That's, that's our freebie. And uh, hopefully he does join. He does, of course. Who the hell do we... Like, where do we put him now? Like, we have three amazing cornerbacks. I guess Buddha Baker. What's his dev? He's normal. He's 28. I mean, it makes sense. I guess Buddha Baker could be on his way out. We could probably trade him for a first-round pick. Is that what we do? That's the question. I don't know. We may trade him for a first-round pick. We'll see. All right, draft recap. I don't even remember what the hell we wanted again. What was it? DT, they go running back. All right, so Fernando Stark, a power back. Oh my god! Okay, his accelerated agility is a little bit. Ninety-one speed for a trucking back is pretty damn impressive. I almost want to start him, but I think we can't. Uh, Nolan uh, Lang, 
Second round quarterback. I don't know why. Are they going to get rid of Rosen soon? 90. He's pretty damn good. That player model is so creepy. I don't like it. I really don't. They finally go with an ET in the third round, it appears. Not a bad pick. Then they go with a left tackle, another left tackle. Can we stop using our good lineman le karma in this l franchise or 10-year sim? Like, we could use it in our rebuilds, man. I mean, we don't need every lineman ever. Like, we just keep landing amazing linemen. I don't know what the hell to tell you. Headed to the playoffs, of course. Making the playoffs at this point should be a given. It, honestly, a bye week should be given. And they have given. Th it's not even a word. Lamar Jackson's the MVP of the league. 13-3. and three. Cardinals. Josh Rosen, the touchdowns really haven't been there since, like, year two. But uh, it's all right because we're still winning as a team. Stark actually had eight touchdowns as a backup. We had him on the training, but he still only go went up, like, two overalls. Let's go with power back and see. Ooh, he's a scheme fit as well. We should probably start him. Do we start him? Bryce Love is really underperformed anyways. Uh, Christian Kirk with obviously a dev up, uh, which puts him at star. Uh, DK Metcalf, that should be a dev up, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him dev. Did he drop dev? Oh, he was already quick. I'm going to give him dev because uh, 14 touchdowns. 900 yards and 14 touchdowns is definitely dev worthy. No question about it. Defensively, Ed Oliver's played well. He's not played like the best DT I've ever had. But he's obviously played extremely well, and he could play pretty much any position, as expected, coming out of the draft this year. Uh, Haynes Thornton, he's uh, he's definitely developed into a good player. It was like a third-round pick, I believe. Uh, we still need that number two DT. Uh, Buda Baker, we kept him. I forgot to get rid of him. Not going to lie. Totally forgot. It is what it is, though. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Please, back to the championship game at least. Rams... Why? 9-6-1. Why did you have to sneak in? Watch them win. Watch them win. I'm going to cry. I hate this game. Why did the Rams have to sneak in? And of course, look at the Rams. All the way to the Super Bowl. Watch watch them win. Watch. Okay, they lost. Okay, they just wasted the entire league. This huge, amazing, oh my god, it's destiny. And there's the money. <laughs> the money is out of here. Uh, can we get rid of Bryce Love? Because he has been absolutely horrendous. We cannot. I think Buda Baker is probably a big part of this, isn't he? He's, he's probably rather expensive. There's actually no one I like in free agencies that we're not going to go for anyone there. The best was Fletcher Cox, but he's old. He was a 90 overall. Most importantly, he was getting an 118-point offer. We need DT number two, but, I mean, if we're going to, you know, we're going to go for somebody, we should go in the draft. We can't even afford the guy anyways. Uh, pick 28. There's always some lineman named Thrash, isn't there? Seems like there is. Any sort of lineman. Of course, DT, preferably. Uh, this guy's a late first projection. We'll put him on the list. What about this guy? Mid-second. This guy looks better, in my opinion, but... It's the guy with the high projections that, uh, usually do well. If we don't make one Super Bowl, this is gonna be very disappointing. This is easily the best receiving class we've ever... And I mean ever had. There's no question about it. We have an amazing offense and a great team in general. What, 97 overall for the last, like, three seasons probably? What are we? 97 overall for, like, the last three seasons. Let's take a look at who we drafted. Of course, I, I mean, we took the uh, the DT. I don't know how good he actually was. 77 overall. Morris Cecil, not a very good pick. He's not a bad player. Just normal dev. It's just not good. Garrett Bradshaw, center. Ugh, it's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. So we did want to take a look at that lineman. I don't know if any of those guys had star dev or not. I don't really care. But we want to see a look at the punter. Are punter people? I don't think punters are people. Well, that's unfair. He was uh, normal dev, 94 overall, or 94 kick power, 87 accuracy. He was a third round projector. They, nobody took him. It's unfair. 84 overall uh, quarterback. Uh, not sure why he's still a free agent. I hate that player model, that's why. I don't care how old they are. Buda Baker and Incomdichi are obviously worth a first round combined. Playoff time. Obviously, we've, we've said it. We're, we're due a bye week every time. There it is. 13-3. and three. Dwayne Haskins is the 2025 season of... He's a Patriot? How the hell did he end up a Patriot? 37 touchdowns, 6 picks, 4,300 yards. Yeah, Stark should probably be our number one running back, huh? I don't know if it's just the backups doing well, but we didn't see that with David Johnson. He was always clearly the number one. I know we didn't have the the type of backup Stark is. 
I think it's time. I think it's time. It's, it's let's just stop beating around the bush here. Beat you all in the bush. Let's go take a look at receiving. I suppose uh, Kirk has been amazing. And Joku finally, you know, coming out of nowhere, re resurrecting the career a little bit here. He knows this is his final season, so hopefully the AI doesn't sign him back. He's. Uh, it depends. It depends how much. I might have to actually manually sign him unless he already did because they might give him like a four or five year deal. This is why it's usually really bad because we end up getting the guys like tight end and all that so late in the uh, the franchise. You know, the guys end up spending so much money on those positions that are late. Like, you know, a guy like David Johnson, I'm surprised they didn't sign him to like a four year deal. So we're still at 97 overall, apparently. Uh, Stark, we're going to actually just put him at number one even for the playoffs here. Of course, it's the Rams who are now 12 and 4. What is, I'm, you know, I really don't pay attention to the overalls. Like, how good are they? Like, they constantly make the Super Bowl. They are a 92 overall. I mean, that's one of the best teams in the league, and they're 92, yet we still can't make it to the Super Bowl. Like, what the hell is this? We're 97 overall. Can we win? I mean, I'm going to, you know, every game, if we even have any more, I'm going to take a look at every single team's overall and take a look. Okay, 90. That's I mean, it's good, but once again, it's a playoff team, so you got to, at this point, expect playoff teams are going to be in the 90s. We're a better team by far, so we should win. Okay. I'm starting to call EA on on their BS, and guess what? These are the things that happen. So the Patriots, of course, with the Super the Super Bowl, the, re the regular season MVP, Dwayne Haskins, uh, 89 overall, another team that's, you know, it's good, but we're still much better. Uh, you know, it's that's the way it is. Now that we sim, that was reverse psychology, eh? You just got cucked. We win the Super Bowl. That was legendary, lads. I I literally just outsmarted EA so hard. Get cucked, EA. You have lost, my friends. Let's take a look at the, the biggest win of the season, of the regular season, the postseason. Words are hard. Uh, it was the Super Bowl. Josh Allen was like, you know what? We're getting to the Super Bowl, and I'm going to kill it. And he did. There's nothing else to it. Uh, I suppose if we have the money, which we definitely don't, I wouldn't be against keeping this team intact as hard as we can. Do as much as you can to do it. 98, okay. Okay. We have negative 400K, which is completely fine. A 98 overall team. Year 2025, technically 2026. Uh, we, have tar we have target over here. Uh, we can put him at left guard, so you know we lose a left guard, but we gain... A friend. That's not even what you know anything. Sean Penn College. Uh, we actually have some 99 overall linemen. I think the thing that's kind of making this one a little bit better, not only because of you know the real life draft and having a lot of like cornerstone pieces that got up really high in overall quickly and haven't regressed, but I've been putting the linemen on practice squad a lot lately, which I probably should have been doing on the same. You know, I should have been doing that. For, not practice squad. The the practice focus training should have been doing that a long time ago. But it's it's led to an amazing offensive line. By far the best we've ever had in a 10-year sim rebuild. I mean, we don't even have a good linebacker core, and yet we're still a 98 overall. Normally, by now, we'd have an amazing linebacker core. So, I don't know exactly what we can do since we are broke. Uh, is there anyone here? Harvey Weirich. Uh, I don't see anyone that we'd want. There's our left guard, by the way, David Campbell. He was a good, pay, uh, good player. Very good player, but at the end of the day, we got to let some guys go. He's 28 anyway, so... You know, we're near the end of this thing, so let's just keep it going as hard as we can. I keep saying hard as we can, which is just so weird to say, but that's the way it is, and that's the way I'm going to keep it going. I like it. Of course, Stark is going to be our starting running back for the season. Tight end is a decent knee. We do have Slay. Uh, I don't know what kind of contract they would have re-signed in Joku to. Hopefully, it was a one-year deal. If it's not, I'm going to have to manually uh, you know, edit this down because he really doesn't deserve more than a one-year yeah, they they just paid him to like forever money. We're gonna we're gonna give him a uh, like a, a ten mil deal here. That's pretty fair in my book. I don't think he should be making more than that. He's like thirty years old. Is this is you know the point in time where a tight end gets at max two years unless they're you know amazing superstar talents, which let's be honest, he isn't. I know he had an okay season recently, but he's not an amazing superstar talent. Uh, so that should save us a little bit of money enough to, you know, resign, you know, draft these guys, uh, pick 12. That was probably our Broncos pick, huh? So once again, tight end, probably the biggest need, maybe a running back, but I, I like our running back. But the thing is, I have a funny feeling they're going to let him go to free agency lineman. I'm always drawn towards lineman. He's an amazing lineman and it really sucks, but 
We kind of have to let him go. This tight end is not very good. I mean, if we're being 100% honest, that lineman looks like easily the best player that we could possibly draft. I mean, at this point, we're going all the way down, and there's just nobody there. Uh, We do have a... Oh, early second, huh? What's our next pick? We went to the Super Bowl and won it. We really need DT. That guy looks like an amazing DT. But Sanchez Moss... You know what? We're going to go Sanchez Moss. I, I He's just too good. Like He's just, he's just too good. Uh, do we want to trade up? Because that guy was a early second, I believe. So, did my game just crash? Okay, it didn't. Did it? Hello? Game? You can do it, game. Game. God damn it, it crashed. I'll be honest, that's the first time uh, all year my game has crashed on a rebuild. Game's like, no, please don't leave us 10-year sim series We'll, we'll, we'll reboot it. I don't know. We we'll can do something. All right, let's give this thing another go. Where is that DT? Was this the guy? Okay, thank God it wasn't him because I would not have wanted him. This guy looks insane. Early second round pick. I don't think he's going to make it past like 20. He's one of the best DTs I've seen in a while. Daniel Shelton. I said past 20, so we're going to go with him here. Oh, not resume. Don't do that. Go into the Jags. Of course, we can use up a move here, and then next year would be the final move. Because, of course, we get the double to next... Not tomorrow. The next uh, season. I think a third round to move up 12 spots from here wouldn't be bad. I have a weird feeling Greedy Williams will be a Jag as well. Ooh, they are not interested, huh? Well, we can't really get rid of Bryce. They want a DT. They don't want a DT. Actually, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Who is this guy? Who's Fincher? Well, he's yours now. There you go. Maybe that's where half of our money is going. Guys that we don't even know is on the roster. All right, so uh, here we are going to the DT now. And I think he's worth it. Will Chandler should be a beast. Normal dev, 80 overall. Obviously, with that strength, he's insane. Very fast, considering... How strong he is. Our new number two, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Can't lie. I thought maybe it would be a quick or better. I think star or better would have been a little bit OP, but quick at least. Come on, EA. Way to ruin a really good player. That's actually going to go on my uh, my wish list. I know technically you could probably just bump up the, uh, the DT sliders to 300%, but I think considering how, uh, you know saturated the dt market is in the real world like there's a lot of really good dts in the nfl i think you know the lack of good drafting dts is is there honestly like i know you want to oversaturate even more but if we're going to follow suit with the way the nfl works i think it makes sense you know so let's take a look at the draft recap of course we know the two players we went with uh they went with a left guard madu <laughs> my dude that guy's actually really good though considering i know he's normal dev but he's he's got all the traits that i'd be looking well ratings i'd be looking for in a starting lineman of course completely irrelevant to us we do not need one 98 overall this could be a back-to-backer this would be the first time in uh 10 year sim history that we win a back-to-back -back super bowl i think and there's no doubt in my mind this is one of the best teams we ever made considering how hard it's been for us to get linebacker which i know the 10 year sim series it's been not the easiest to do but it's definitely been easier to do than this. I mean, you take away Baker, and we haven't even cracked the 90 range with a, a guy we've earned. Uh, Stark will be the starting running back. I mean, there's not really much to do. Let's go for it. And here we are, headed to the playoffs. Easily in. And no bye week at 12-4, and four, which is uh, interesting. I think we should have probably been the best team in the league, but I guess not. Rosen was good. Stark, that's probably what we've been missing out on. He, How is that not a, star, a superstar dev, by the way? I mean, he, he made Bryce Love look like a little punk. Like, he... Bryce Love is a waste, apparently. Uh, Christian Kirk is very good. Very good. Metcalf. Uh, he's got to be getting really low. Yeah, quick dev. 28. He's getting old. I'm not a fan, guys. Keep keep yourselves young. I don't know how you do it, but just do it. Uh, pass rush really hasn't been anything amazing at all. Uh, Ellis forced and normal dev only, but... Of course, he's still amazing in coverage. Very slow stuff. Surprised he wouldn't have gotten up a, a speed or two. It's been like three years, I think. 
Either way, gonna play the Lions. Last time we checked, they were what? A uh, a 90 overall? 89 overall? We dropped down to 90. How do we drop down in overall after the... What? You don't, you don't regress until after your season's over. We won that game, I'm pretty sure. Nope, we didn't. We just get 700 XP for losing, apparently. Well, we're on to uh, almost our last season, right? All right, so the Cowboys win the Texan battle. Who are we going to lose? 98 overall down to 97. All right, that's fine. Uh, negative four mil. So this is, you know, if it wasn't already the last season, it definitely is now. We lose Marquise Brown. Don't tell me. I, I guess I can't really say much about Kirk because Kirk has played like the best. We lost our tight end. Both tight ends, actually. Uh, is there any alignment we can get rid of? Tegger, I mean, he really wouldn't even have been paid much. Uh, Baker has regressed. Honestly, I don't think we can really... Baker. Well, I guess Baker and Forsen regress. I can't really do much about this. Powell's regressed. I think we're just going to have to just wing it. I, there's really not much we can do. We can't get any better. The draft isn't really going to do much for us. Uh, who's Shirley, anyways? I'm just interested. Star De Superstar Dev. I don't know how you let a guy like him go unless you're wide receiver stacked like we were. Great DT, of course. We're way too broke now. A lot of the wide receivers from uh, year one uh, in here for the uh, the free agency class. Marquise Brown was so good, but of course he's 29 years of age. I think he might have even regressed this season because his speed, I thought, was 97. Some really good players from year one that are in here. Uh, we lost Tremonde Spencer as well. I didn't even see that. Yeah, we had a really good team. I mean, the fact that we didn't win back-to-back -back was kind of shocking. Honestly, we're just going to go to the draft, take the best available player, and sim to the final year. Usually, it's fine. ironic. Usually, you want to finish strong, but our final season is kind of a sloppy mess where we just we don't have enough money. We've already had our best days behind us, and we just hope for the best like we really do. We've won a couple of Super Bowls year, you know, final season, but it just doesn't go too well. And once again, the best available is always linemen, which is just absolutely disgusting because we don't need linemen. Like, what the hell do we take? There's, It's it's the lineman. He's the best available. I guess we're going to take this middle linebacker just to mix it up, but we don't even need him. What about that pass rusher? Actually, i seen a guy. That Sloan guy is probably insane, but we we have got too many. It's just no point. Late first. He's not bad. Linebacker is still kind of a need, so we're just going to send him to the end of the draft, and we'll see how good that linebacker was. We're super broke as well. We'd probably be almost kicked off the team next season, I would feel. Draft recap. All right, so here's the middle linebacker, Mendoza. He wasn't very fast, but very good block shed and tackling. He's a pretty damn good linebacker. Probably just barely worth a first round. This is a good cornerback, could play safety in the future. Uh, Alexander, that's a really good replacement for uh, Argari Marquise. Uh, very good replacement. Uh, tight end, eh, he's going to probably be a starter, though, ironically. Tight end is a huge need for us, and obviously we can't really do much about that. So... 98 overall again, apparently. There's literally nothing I could do. Sorry, love. You're terrible. It was almost like a uh, like a foreign foreign talk. I don't think really anyone in America says love as like a female, but it almost say it seemed like I was talking like a lady. A lady of the night. And we missed the playoffs. What the hell is this? Final see, this is why it gets sloppy, man. This game is flawless. A 98 overall team, the best team in the nfl of course we're 97 because of the regressions because obviously we uh we ended the season 98 overall team can't make the playoffs what a game rushing all right receiving wow christian kirk he's a hall of famer isn't he we've always had really good success at christian kirk i think he's a hall of famer i really think so you know like normally we have good receivers and you know we've probably had better than kirk but I just have a weird, like, wanting to uh, to just actually take a look at his whole career. Completely correct stats. I'm going to do the, the calculator on him. I believe he had 92 touchdowns and 11,486 yards. Probably put him as a top 10 receiver all time. Specifically considering he's still not done. At the age of 30, he's probably got another 3 to 4 years so I think Christian Kirk, based on these stats, may end up retiring a top seven wide receiver. Pretty impressive stuff. Can't lie. Cannot lie. That's a, g a good point. Maybe uh, a lot of you guys did say, uh, well, not a lot of you guys, but somebody suggested a really good idea to go back 
and look at our 10-year sims. I think I kept, I would say I kept at least 95% of these things. To go back and look at the exact Super Bowl total, if not, I could be really sad and loser-like to go and look at every single rebuild we, you know, 10 years in we did. Obviously, they're all on YouTube. Check, check them out. Check them out. They're in a playlist. Um, and take a look at the actual totals to see how many times, you know, like who won and all that. We may do it. I might, you know, I might go back and take a look at that. So we'll see. I don't know how much of a video it'll make, though. Like going, I don't know. It'll be weird. Take a look at who wins the Super Bowl, though, before we end this thing, of course. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this series. Of course, unless we have an idea or we decide to go back, I, I don't know, maybe we forgot a team. This could very well be the last 10-year sim you see of Madden 19. Will we do it next year? I don't even know. I might even slap a like goal here. Uh, I think we usually get at least 100, 100 likes, right? I don't even know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll throw something in there, I suppose. But, I mean, this is the final one. I thought this was a great series. Uh, I know the views are actually pretty damn decent, but I feel like if somebody, like, really top in the community thought of this idea, it would have blown up. I really do. I think this would have been one of the biggest series of Madden. And, you know, like, considering our numbers, we did pretty damn well on this series. I think it's fair to say. I really do. I think, not trying to toot my own horn with creativity, but... I think this would have been one of the biggest series on Madden if, like, one of the top, top YouTubers did it. But it's still, I loved it. I, I thought we had great success with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was tedious, easily the most tedious series we've ever had. Uh, you know, this is, like, over two hours each uh, episode, and it's constant moving around of players and looking at salaries and this and that. But, yeah, I mean, and obviously looking at the draft to see if, hey, do I want to use my next year pick on this guy? Uh, do I want to trade down this and that? But it was a real fun one. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did like, you know, leave a like. This could be the biggest liked video we had for this series if we do the like goal in the beginning. Um, I'm going to slap it here at the end. 300 likes. I know it's a little high, but 300 likes will guarantee this series comes back from Madden 20. And uh, I mean, that's about it. I hope you guys follow, you know, enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, Jump you care. Subscribe if you're new. If you have an idea for a series that you know you want to see, because obviously we're gonna have to fill this with something. Will it be double reloads, rebuilds a week? Will it be reloads of our rebuilds? Will it be a uh, you know rebuild of one of the ten year sim teams? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this series. It sucks it's coming to an end, but these are the things that happen. But yeah, hope we come back for the next video. But until next video, see.